darkness and now death could take a panet mbeki away from her love and passion for those less fortunate the reason her community kept on praying this past week still hoping for her recovery for some of us it was even difficult to support our families but the day we met this elderly woman we managed to support our families and send our children to school we are praying to god that she recovers mama mbeki must recover very soon she must come back and come and, uh, and come and encourage us and assist us as 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 she usually did we are waiting for her to come back and assist us it was not to be in the early hours of saturday morning she bid the world she had given all her 98 years to farewell ending a life all agree was modest but well lived a panet mbeki was 24 when she married govan mbeki a fellow teacher and communist party activist that she had met eight years earlier. You know, not this um, ordinary love affair. It was really ideas and so on and so on. A year later, the two would have their first child, Linda, followed by three others, Tabo, Mwelezi, and Jama. Sadly, the family would never enjoy life together. Govan would be separated from her, first by work in Durban and Port Elizabeth, and later by life imprisonment on Robben Island. Tabo and Mueletze would spend most of their young lives in exile, while Jamas would be cut short by assassins in neighboring Lesotho. But like most struggle women of her time, decades of isolation and persecution only sharpened her resolve. She was just incredibly amazing woman. A few, a few months ago, she would be speaking like a 40-year-old. Her mind was as clear as that. She had the energy to be working, and that's what she's done all her life. Um, I just don't know what to say. We're just devastated. The family is yet to discuss funeral arrangements. But even long after her remains are buried, her legacy will live on not only among these villagers, but also in the hearts of many South Africans that she touched, whether it was through her late stalwart husband or her former president's son or his businessman sibling. Vuyom Voko, SABC News.